Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. You know that old saying, out of sight, out of mind? There's no place that's more accurate than the WordPress database. Just using WordPress core itself, there are many ways that junk can accumulate in the database. Old post revisions, pingbacks, trackbacks, spam comments, orphan post meta, expired transients, and so on. A number of WordPress plugins add custom tables to the WordPress database, and many themes and plugins save their settings in the WP options table. If the site's been around for a while, then there's a good chance that the database needs to be cleaned and optimized. However, the tools that we're usually given for working with the database, something like PHP My Admin or Adminner, they will show you the tables, but finding that trash, the old revisions, the orphan post meta, the expired transients, would take custom queries, and finding and removing those would be error prone. Fortunately, there are some tools for working with a WordPress database, and the one I use is Advanced Database Cleaner Pro. It's an easy to use tool that provides a UI so you can see what's in your database and you can clean and optimize the database. In this video, I'm going to do a walkthrough of Advanced Database Cleaner Pro so you can see how it works. This is the website for Advanced Database Cleaner Pro. You can see that the pricing is one-time lifetime pricing. You have two site, five site, and unlimited sites, and the pricing is very reasonable. Also on the website, there is some documentation help. Advanced Database Cleaner also has a free version in the WordPress plugin directory. You can see that it's regularly updated. It has quite a few active installs, a large number of five-star reviews, and it's well-supported. Now, the Pro plugin, as you would imagine, has more features than the free one. If you can't afford the Pro plugin or you don't need the features of the Pro plugin, I recommend you at least check out the free version. So I have a test site here where I've installed Advanced DB Cleaner Pro. I've already entered the license, and these are the tabs that relate to different functionality. You can see the admin menu here on the top level. And there are two settings here that control where the admin menu shows. Here it says show plugin on the left menu, and here it says show it on the tools menu. So if we look at tools, see that's there also. And if we just, for example, uncheck this, click save, So it disappeared from the left menu there. So that's how you can keep your top level menu clean if you like to keep your utilities tucked away. Then over here we have an overview. You can see there are 109 tables, a huge number of options. So as we'll see, this database hasn't been cleaned for a long time and it's something of a dumpster fire. So let me show you how you would use Advanced Database Cleaner to start to clean this up. There are four tabs here that relate to the different functional areas. There's General Cleanup, Tables, Options, and Cron Jobs. So if we go to General Cleanup, we can see that there are a bunch of old revisions. There's an auto draft a large number of orphan post meta, and this site used to use Toolset, and now it uses advanced custom fields, so Toolset, a lot of stuff was left behind. Orphaned comment meta, expired transients, you know, there's also pingbacks and trackbacks, spam comments, and so on. It's pretty safe to clean this stuff up, so I'm just going to select all of the options here, and then the only thing we can do is click Clean and Apply. 
red alert, red alert, you know, we're making changes to the database and this is a power tool. So of course you need to have a backup. Now you don't have to back up the entire site because we're just working with the database. You can take a backup of just the database, which would be, you know, a smaller backup file size. Okay, so I click continue. And it's done a cleanup. Now, the other feature on this tab is that you can schedule a cleanup here. You can give the schedule a name. You can choose how often you want it to run. If you have a very busy site, you might want it to run daily or maybe not so often monthly would be sufficient. You can choose the date and time. You can have your job be active or turn it off when you don't need it. So that's a nice feature there for automating maintenance. If we go then to the tables tab, we look at the features here. There is this option to scan the tables. And I've already run this before. What that does is that Advanced DB Cleaner Pro will make its best guess what plugin the tables are related to. Then it groups them. That makes it a little bit easier to manage. You still need to keep your thinking cap on and pay attention because, for example, if we look here, I know that Better links, I'm not using that anymore. I'm using my own clean URLs plugin. Uh, so better links is gone and I can get rid of it. But here it's guessed that it's related to itself, okay, or orphaned or related to cadence. I can get rid of these. I know that I don't need them. So I'm going to go to the bulk actions. We'll see what the options are here. We can scan the selected tables. We can edit the category. We can optimize the tables and repair the tables. So those are nice features. We can delete all the rows out of the tables or delete the tables themselves. So I want to delete these better links tables. So I'll apply that. Now remember these are guesses. So if you're not sure what the table is for, what I do is I, I play it safe and I don't delete it. Here's a table PMXE exports. Let's see what that is. If I'm not sure, I'll go and Google it. And here's something, traces after uninstall for the WP all import plugin. If you go down, it does say they leave it there in case you're going to run the plugin again. I did use this plugin some time ago, but I'm not using it now. So these tables, this PMXE, they can also be deleted. Okay, I'm not going to go through the whole list with you. That'll use up a lot of time, but I think you get the idea. Now, just like with the general cleanup, there is an option here to create a schedule. Just like before, you give it a name. You can have it be active or inactive. You can choose your schedule. And then the options are to optimize or repair. If you have a very busy website, you might want to run the optimize periodically. The third tab of cleanup here is for the WordPress options table. You know, all of your themes and plugins have settings and they store the settings usually in the options table. You can see there are a huge number here 1128. I think the initial install of WordPress maybe has 120 or something below 150. So a lot of options here. I've run the scan already. So things have been categorized, you know, advanced database cleaners taken its guess. If we look at the actions we can take, we can scan selected options, we can edit the categories, 
we can set auto load to yes or auto load to no or we can delete the records now it mentioned auto load and when that's set to yes these settings are loaded into memory for every page load of course it might be cached but when you have this large number of options even if it's cached you can be using up a lot of resources and if the plugin or theme has been removed then you really shouldn't be loading that so you can change the options to no maybe if you're not sure if they're needed or not again i play it safe if i'm not sure i leave it but let's go for example and look at theme options because i have changed my theme a couple of times let's see what we have here we have a convert plug widget that's not needed we have a better links option here which is not cadence insta wp api url not using those so we can delete those all right if we want to look at the orphans here's the warning here remember only delete those ones where you're sure it's an orphan like this is bv is blog vault so i am using blog vault and i'm not going to delete that i use Musin for my email newsletters bsf is for brainstorm force uh, here's main wp let me use these main wp ones here because i do use main wp but let me use these here to show you how the categorization works it shows you the list that you're going to be modifying and then there's a list of all the plugins and you choose the plugin that's related to and save and now those have been assigned to main wp some of these also i'll mention have an array and so you can hover over to see what it relates to again i'm not going to go through all of these on the video because it'll just take up a lot of time okay and so i'll do that on my own later finally the last tab is for cron jobs again you have the option to scan you can see there are 11 core cron jobs i've got 42 in total it says there are five orphans so let's take a look at those you know i'm not using analytify anymore I used that a couple of years ago. So those two are examples of cron jobs that I can get rid of. You know, then I won't be running those processes when they're not needed. Again, you can scan the selected tasks. You can edit the categories or delete. So I'm going to apply that. I think that gives you a good idea of how the Advanced Database Cleaner Pro plugin works. So just to summarize here, I think that the WordPress database is often neglected and ignored. You know, that old saying, out of sight, out of mind. As we can see here, over time, a lot of trash accumulates. So it's possible to go in and clean it and optimize it. The tool Advanced Database Cleaner helps organize the cleanup and optimization options for the database and gives you a window a gui to manage that process i use advanced database cleaner pro i know a number of wordpress professionals also use this plugin in their maintenance routines there is also a free version of the plugin that you can check out so i hope you found this walkthrough useful if you did, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.